Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this particular video, let us solve one more problem in which we need to compute the cost of debentures when it is redeemable debentures. A five-year 100 debenture of a firm can be sold for a net price of 96.50. That means 100 rupees is the actual value, but they are selling it for 96.50 rupees the coupon rate of interest is 14 percent per annum and the debenture will be redeemed at 5 percent premium on maturity the firm's tax is at 40 percent compute the after tax cost of debentures so since we know that the redeemable value is nothing but value at what value that will be paid to the debentures upon maturity here what they have told is the debentures will be redeemed at 5 percent premium they have told that the debentures will be redeemed at 5 percent premium so when they have told that the debentures will be redeemed at 5 percent premium we need to even pay that 5 percent premium and we need to consider that 100 is the actual value but only 100 rupees they are not paying along with the 100 rupees they are paying 5% premium. So 100 rupees plus 5% will be 105. That becomes your redeemable value. And net proceeds they have only given in the question that it is 96.50. We need to calculate interest rate. So interest since they have not given how many debentures they have issued. The actual rate of interest that is 14% only will be taken into consideration. Next tax they have told it is 40%. So we need to convert it into decimals. So 40% will be 0 0.4. And for how many years the maturity period is? The maturity period is 5 years. So the debentures are issued for 5 years. So we have found out all the necessary value for our formula. Now let us try to implement those values in our formula. So interest rate is 14 and 1 minus tax is 0 0.4 and 1 divided by n, n is 5. Redeemable value is 105 and net proceeds is 96.50. Now 1 minus 0 0.4. So 1 minus 0 0.4 will be 0 0.6. And 1 divided by 5 will be 0 0.2. And 105 minus 96.50 will be 8.5. Next half is nothing but 0 0.5. And 105 plus 96.50 will be 201.5. Now when we try to further simplify the formula, we will get that is 14 into 0 0.6 is 8.4 and 0 0.2 into 8.5 is 1.7 and 0 0.5 into 201.5 will be 100.75. So 8.4 in plus 1.7, 8.4 plus 1.7 will be 10.1. And 100.75 you will write as it is. So 10.1 divided by 100.75 will be 0 0.100 into 100. So when you do that, you get 10%. This is nothing but your cost of debentures. So hope you have understood this problem very well. If you have any doubts in this particular problem, you can always put your doubts in the comment box. So that I'll be responding to your doubts as soon as possible. Thank you for watching the video. I'll come back with the next video as soon as possible.